Welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is Victor Campos, and we are using Twitter for business again. A little while ago, we've been talking about um, searching to find people to interact with. So um, here's another thing we can do. On the uh, if we go back to home, uh, it takes us back to our home screen, and then on the left side, we've got trends. These are going to be either uh, phrases or hashtags that appear uh, on various topics. So right now we've got trends, but we haven't really focused on a, on a location. So it's a good idea to click change and then select um, trends. Uh, this says trends tailored just for you. Trends offer a unique way to get closer to what you care about. They are tailored for you based on your location and who you follow. So that might be useful, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that because I can also um, get trends from locations. So I'm going to say, give me trends related to San Diego. So done. And now what what wakes up here is, a, or what shows up here is a few things related to San Diego. So what do we have here? No, number five, SOS sauce tastes like, Viva Mexico, contest entry, sprawls, crack, if I woke up with amnesia, San Diego, DWTS, Arizona. Okay, uh, so let's see what these are. Now again, uh, Twitter is a public forum. Anyone can create a, an account and write anything that they want, and hopefully we run into positive things, but if there's anything negative, uh, ignore it, and we've all, we also have options to deal with it, uh, blocking and so forth. But uh, let's see what happens uh, if we select the San Diego topic. Here what will show up then are people tweeting about... Um, Uh, mentioning San Diego, so we've got woohoo! It's raining at our house in San Diego. Big fat raindrops. Ooh, it's raining. I I'm looking out the window. It doesn't look like it, but um, good time for interaction. So I'm gonna say here. Really, where in SD? We're in East Lake, and it's totally dry. We wish we had rain. So notice when I search on a topic or look at some trends and such, I also get options to who to follow. Maybe I'll follow San Diego. Uh, notice that sometimes you're going to see profiles that have this little blue check mark. That means that this is a verified account. If you click, you'll see the blue and it says this is a verified account this is an official representative who they claim to be now I'm not saying that SDCCU is a fake account but they just are not verified because they haven't gone through the process perhaps so um, what else do we have I'm going to reply here to Dominic. It's hotter in San Diego than it is in Vegas or Palm Desert. And uh, again, uh, you have to figure out the voice that you want to use uh, for Twitter. And here I'll say... Um, hotter? Perhaps you meant better. You never know how people will take take things. It's a text medium. Um, people don't know your inflections and your meaning and all of that. But one way to get your meaning across is by using emoticons. So here I'll add a little smiley to show that I'm smiling. That I'm trying to say this in jest. So, so far everything that I've been doing is um, replying to people, uh, interacting with people. And look at that. At the top here, I've got some notifications. So again, um, I'm going to go up and check what I've got in notifications. So what else? From I'll go from bottom to top. Bottom is older, top is newer. Miranda favorited your tweet. So I had said, yep, there's no better combination than milk and cookies, maybe friends and family. So Miranda favorited it. And then I also got a reply. Chocolate chip and sugar cookie, they give me instant 
orgasms. So I got a reply, and because the because the reply um, had my name and a character before it, the trick is that what happens is that um, other people saw it too, which then ties into the next notification. Riza Villaseñor favorited the tweet I was mentioned in. So I didn't interact with Riza, but Riza saw this because Miranda tweeted it uh, with a dot in the front. That's a trick that people do when you reply to someone. Uh, if I if I click reply to Miranda, only Miranda will see it. But if I add a dot or any character at the beginning, Miranda will see it, but my followers will see it. And then that's what happened up here because then uh, Riza saw it. So if I go back to me, I don't have any followers yet, but this takes a little time and effort. It's going to be worth it because eventually you might have uh, Justin Timberlake level followers, you know, 35 million followers. <coughs> but that happens once you start to build a fan base and a following. Um, so, um, trends are a way to interact with people, especially local trends. If you're a local business, let's say that our uh, business is in San Diego. So I've changed the location to San Diego and I can start interacting with locals. That's a good tactic there. So come back and we'll talk about uh, hashtags and the usefulness of that.